Welcome to this episode of Door Hardware Nerds. I'm your host, Mia Merrill. Today, I'm joined by Kevin Waring. Kevin, welcome back, and please introduce yourself. Well, hey, Mia, good afternoon. It's great to be back on another episode here of the Door Hardware Nerds. So thank you for having me. So to everybody out there, I'm Kevin Waring, Director of Business Development for the Yale Commercial Team here at Asa Aboy, and uh, thrilled to take a couple minutes of your day today. Yeah. So Kevin is a, a longtime listener and a, a many time caller. No, I'm just kidding. We've had him on a couple of episodes and you can go back and find those. But Kevin, since the last time we talked, where are you finding successes? Yeah, so certainly the markets are still running strong. We have a lot of new construction starts going on and, and, and business is, is going very well. But one of the areas that we've been hitting hard and, and doing well at is the upgrade market. And what we're finding is a lot of people out there are, you know, looking to upgrade their openings, looking to upgrade their facilities and and for solutions that, that we might be able to offer them. Yeah, so I think one of the products that probably fits well in here is uh, we launched a new cylindrical indicator in January. How is that going? So it, it's been a great launch, a great success, uh, but not only is the cylindrical indicator lock you know, by itself a great success, but the whole family suite of products that it offers, you know, it, it couples well with a, a deadbolt indicator. We have mortise indicators, and of course, the cylindrical indicator that's been been highly successful. So, it's been a really good campaign for us. Uh, great product to the market, and and as I mentioned in the previous episode, you know, it's not just for bathrooms. We've seen a lot of success for other facilities or other needs. You know, it could be you know band or music rooms within universities. It could be boardrooms. It could be conference rooms. Um, but you know, certainly the, the main driver there is in the um, uh, the restroom space. So when people are looking to upgrade their facilities, that's one of the first thing that comes to mind is is the indicator occupancy uh, products that we offer. Yeah, I think we're probably just seeing the beginning of really where an indicator is going to be used. And also this week, uh, Arrow has given us an APL to give away. So make that's sure right. that you. Uh, go back to my Monday's posts and enter in that because we'll be announcing winners on Friday. So uh, excited to give that away. Hopefully uh, someone very special wins it. Oh, I, I think that's great. The more that we can get product awareness out there, the the better it is. Um, but, you know, as we as we look at the upgrade opportunities, you know, certainly the indicators are a great section. Um, but, you know, other spaces that we see, you know, facilities are always saying, how can I how can I upgrade and, and not replace everything with brand new hardware? And, and one of the opportunities that we have is in our exit device platforms where, you know, we can add an MELR, you know, electric latch retraction kit to an existing device and, and to upgrade to a more automated solution that way. And then, of course, you know, we, we round out and we offer a lot of standalone access control products and could be you know, our, our next touch products. Right. You know, they could be uh, a Z-Wave product or a standalone without a radio that you program right there on the door. So, again, all, all different avenues that have been really good for upgrading people's openings. Yeah, I often think, you know, we ha still have, I know we talk about EAC all the time, but there's so many facilities that are just a mechanical base. Um, and, you know, they want to bring themselves kind of in the 21st century. And there's a lot of opportunities for that. Yeah, cer certainly to to get off of the mechanical QAs and, and to upgrade and, and look at the next step without going into a full-blown solution is that mid-tier, you know, standalone solution. And, um, you know, again, a lot of, a lot of, products that we can offer to help those facilities. Yeah. So Kevin, are there any exciting product updates that might be coming for the upgrade market? Well, I feel like you're trying to get a peek behind the curtain there, but <laughs> what, what I can say is uh, Asa Abo is very focused on the upgrade solutions. And as, as we look through the remainder of 2023 and 20, coming into 2024, um, expect a lot of great products that, that people have been asking for for a long time. Uh, but just keep an eye out. I don't want to tip my hat too much, but there's definitely a lot of products coming late, later this year and into the beginning of next year that'll certainly fit well for this upgrade market. All right. Well, any final thoughts you want to share with us today? No, just appreciate the opportunity to be here and and, and thanks for spreading the word and, and helping share the message. Yeah. Well, thank you, Kevin. And uh, for everybody out there, thanks for watching. I will drop some links in the comments below. And if you have any questions or comments, leave them below as well. Have a good one. Thanks, everybody.